Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our torque management in our GM Gen 4 applications. We'll find we have two different forms of torque management that we're going to be working with. We have an engine side and a transmission side. Now the transmission side is going to be there to protect the drivetrain. So when we're making a shift, whether at part throttle or full throttle, it's going to be detuning the engine using our torque management settings on the transmission side, and it's going to pull power out so the transmission can shift without damaging it. Now on the engine control side, we're going to have all kinds of ways we might detune the engine, whether it's going to be a throttle limiting effect or it's going to be something like our traction control. So we're going to find we have several different sections of our torque management we're going to look at in this video. We can actually use the torque management to our advantage and actually use it as a way we can put power down on any kind of engine. So if we're traction limited in the lower gears, I'm going to be showing you some tricks of how to go in and uh, use the torque management to your advantage to actually slow down the acceleration rate a little bit so you don't get wheel spin. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our torque management in our GM Gen 4 ECMs. We're going to find we have two different ways the torque management can be applied. We have an engine torque management and a transmission control torque management. Now, we're only going to be taking a look at the engine torque management in this video. We will be taking a look at the transmission control torque management in some upcoming transmission specific videos. So let's jump in right now and talk about our engine style torque management here. So let's jump into our engine tab. We're going to move from general here all the way across over to the right hand uh, tab and it's going to be our torque management tab. Now in here we're going to find some sub tabs. We find our general tab, engine, and then we find our supercharger. Now the supercharger tab we're not going to cover in this video. This is going to be specific to the LSA style motors uh, that's going to be found in the CTSV and the ZL1 applications. So we'll be sticking with these two tabs right here. Let's go over our general tab. We'll start off here in the left hand corner and work our way over. We're going to find there's going to be some things that we want to leave alone for safety reasons, protection. There's some things that we definitely want to disable and turn off, and uh, there's gonna be some things that we can manipulate in here to get desired engine power as we're driving around. So if we wanna limit the power in first gear and a second gear, if we have a really powerful vehicle, we're able to do that. And it's very, very effective as you're gonna be finding out here and uh, towards the end of the video, we'll jump into our VCM scanner. I'm gonna be going over some data logs and some uh, cause and effect by programming and changing some of these tables in here so you can see what's possible with the Gen 4 ECM. So let's jump in here to our left-hand corner under our general side in the maximum torque here, the RPM versus gear table. We'll find when we open this table up, this can be based on engine RPM and gear. So in this table, we can find values of 6,042 pound-feet of torque. We're gonna to find this value and all the values in the tables uh, found in all of our torque management here. These are gonna be all values that GM has placed in this calibration file for our Yukon Denali. So I haven't went in and altered anything in here. We'll find if GM has went into any of the tables and placed a value here of something like 6,042 pound-feet of torque, they've essentially bypassed this table and they're saying that it, we don't wanna use this table to control torque or do any kind of torque management. So we'll find that some of the tables are gonna be populated with lower torque values that are gonna be more reasonable. Other ones are gonna be maxed out like this and that's essentially gonna be, again, telling you that they're not using this. So we actually can see at the bottom here what's gonna be the, the highest limit or the highest value we can place in this table. And in this case, 6,042 pound-feet of torque. So we'll find, again, this, this, this table has been maxed out. Most of the operating system um, calibrations you'll find when we open up, this table will be maxed out. This table is gonna be the one that we actually can work with to limit the torque production that our engine is making versus our gear at wide open throttle. So we can use this as a pseudo- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.